The Life and Sad Ending of Michael Douglas Michael Douglas was born Michael Kirk Douglas on September 25, 1944, in New Brunswick, New Jersey, U.S. From childhood, he was known for an incomplete childhood. Douglas' parents divorced when he was six, and he went to live with his mother and her new husband. Only seeing Kirk on holidays, Michael attended Eaglebrook School in Deerfield, Massachusetts, where he was about a year younger than all of his classmates. Douglas attended the elite preparatory Choate School and spent his summers with his father on movie sets. Although accepted at Yale, Douglas attended the University of California, Santa Barbara, deciding he wanted to be an actor in his teenage years. A few months after he arrived in New York, Douglas got his first big break, when he was cast in the pivotal role of the free-spirited scientist who compromises his liberal views to accept a lucrative job. Douglas' convincing portrayal won him the leading role in the adaptation of John Weston's controversial novel, Hail, Hero, which was the initial project of CBS's newly organized theatrical film production company, Cinema Center Films. Impressed by Douglas' performance in a segment of the FBI producer Quinn Martin signed the actor for the part of Carl Malden's sidekick in the police series The Streets of San Francisco, which premiered in September of 1972 and became one of ABC's highest-rated primetime programs in the mid-1970s. Douglas earned three successive Emmy Award nominations for his performance and he directed two episodes of the series. Long interested in producing a film version of Ken Kesey's grimly humorous novel One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Douglas purchased the movie rights from his father and began looking for financial backing. A critical and commercial success, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Actor, and Best Actress, and went on to gross more than $180 million at the box office. Douglas also starred in running as a compulsive quitter who sacrifices everything to take one last shot at the Olympics and as Zack the dictatorial director, choreographer in Richard Attenborough's screen version of the Broadway's longest-running musical A Chorus Line. Again in 1984 with the release of the tongue-in-cheek romantic fantasy Romancing the Stone. Douglas had begun developing the project several years earlier and with Kathleen Turner as Joan Wilder, the dowdy writer of gothic romances. Danny DeVito as the feisty comic foil Ralphie and Douglas as Jack Colton, the reluctant soldier of fortune, romancing was a resounding hit and grossed more than $100 million at the box office. Douglas was named Producer of the Year in 1984 by the National Association of Theater Owners. Douglas, Turner, and DeVito redeemed in 1985 for the successful sequel The Jewel of the Nile. After a lengthy break from acting, Douglas returned to the screen in 1987 appearing in two of the year's biggest hits. He starred opposite Glenn Close in the phenomenally successful psychological thriller, Fatal Attraction, which was followed by his performance as ruthless corporate raider Gordon Gecko in Oliver Stone's Wall Street earning him the Academy Award for Best Actor. Douglas next starred in Ridley Scott's thriller Black Rain and then teamed up again with Kathleen Turner and Danny DeVito in the black comedy The War of the Roses which was released in 1989. In 1994 he starred with Demi Moore in Barry Levinson's Disclosure, based on the bestseller by Michael Crichton. In 1995 Douglas portrayed the title role in Rob Reiner's romantic comedy The American President opposite Annette Bening, and in 1997, starred in The Game directed by David Fincher and co-starring Sean Penn. Next to in 1998, Michael Douglas starred with Gwyneth Paltrow and Viggo Mortensen in the mystery thriller A Perfect Murder, and formed a new production company, 2000 was a milestone year for Douglas. Wonder Boys opened in February 2000 to much critical acclaim. Directed by Curtis Hansen and co-starring Tobey Maguire, Francis McDormand, Robert Downey Jr., and Katie Holmes, Douglas starred in the film as troubled college professor Grady Tripp.
Michael was nominated for a Golden Globe and a BAFTA Film Award for his performance. Traffic was named Best Picture by New York Film Critics, won Best Ensemble Cast at the SAG Awards, won four Academy Awards and has been recognized over on over 175 top 10 lists. In 2002, Douglas appeared in a guest role on the hit NBC comedy Will and & Grace, and received an Emmy nomination for his performance. Douglas starred in two films in 2003. MGM BVI released the family drama It Runs in the Family, which Douglas produced and starred with his father Kirk Douglas. On April 4, 2003, he underwent a face augmentation at the St. Regis Hotel in Century City, Los Angeles. In 2004 Douglas, along with his father Kirk, filmed the intimate HBO documentary A Father, A Son. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Directed by award-winning filmmaker Lee Grant, the documentary examines the professional and personal lives of both men, and the impacts they each made on the motion picture industry. In summer 2005, Douglas produced and starred in The Sentinel, which was released by 20th Century Fox in spring 2006. On August 16, 2010, he has a tumor in his throat and will undergo weeks of radiation and chemotherapy, but expected to make a full recovery. On August 31, 2010, he announced on Late Show with David Letterman that he had stage 4 throat cancer and that he has started radiation and chemotherapy. Michael Douglas was nominated for the 2011 New Jersey Hall of Fame for his contributions to the arts and entertainment. He was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6259 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on November 6, 2018.